sitting in silence for unknown reasons. Actually, we're just letting you guys take this and the whole glory. Massive Fridge is once again frozen in time. It's all these Vietnam flashbacks I keep having and you're not respecting me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, based on? Okay, go on, where's the story? Oh god, I just keep thinking back to like the last pre-release kit that I got and how freaking long it took me to unbox it and having flashbacks to it. Oh, really? How come? Oh, because just too many packs or? Well, I was also doing it by myself, so I'm just like, haha, this is still interesting. <laughs> I've been opening up my opium addiction <laughs> cards for like the last, th I think it ended up being like three hours long. That's Ooh. what it took me to unbox a whole box. Ooh, that sounds, so, that sounds painful. I mean, that being said, we should probably split this into two videos. And, and go right for it. We're not going to delay it any longer. I'm going to probably... How do you use scissors? I mean, just use it as a blade. You don't have to actually have to like tsk, 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 and just cut it. Yeah, here you go. It's a slashing weapon. Okay, come on, you can do it. <laughs> now, kids, always point away from you. It should come as common sense, but no, it's not still getting there. <laughs> Apparently, I'm very much just looking at I want to go like too deep because it, I don't know how they pack these. I will just oh. Of course. There's more cardboard. It's like it's a box of cardboard filled with just nicer pieces of cardboard. Oh, that's debatable. If you guys have seen the spoilers, it's kind of like very debatable. Oh, you're getting all gross <laughs> on it, mate. Oh, we're not going to be kind to this set at all. Uh, apparently not, but the first thing you do get is a clay mask oh, right What? The clay mats are orange? That's sick. Okay, well, I'm going to pull one out right now. Dude. Okay, are you pulling that one out? No, no, you take that one out. I just want to see what it looks like. Oh, by the way, that one's for you. I forgot about that. So, congratulations. Merry post-Christmas, related Christmas. <laughs> Thanks, man. I appreciate it. So, Sick. Strangers of New Valhalla. Yeah, so, magic. <laughs> this is actually pretty cool. I, is this even a card? That's the thing though, I can't even remember this art. I do, I don't remember seeing this art. Why would- And then I saw the picture as this is one of the things that they're throwing in here and I'm like... Do you know what I think it is? Is it for the next set? No, 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 it's from this set. It's that dragon that does damage to everything when it hits the field. You know the one that's- ah, you know, I This one. We'll, I'm just- I'm No, just, it's not even- It's not even this one! It's not it's even not? the promo, no. It's not even the pro- this promo. What is it then? Here. Dude. Neo Berserker Dragon. We got some of those promos, which is nice. What are these? If those are the promos, what are these? Dark Alice dolls. But these why? are promos too. What it well show the camera, dude. Don't, okay, sorry. don't show me. Dark Alice doll. These are like promos. So I mean, look should we open them? Yeah, just open one. So I don't know if I can it, I don't even know if I can actually open open this. Well I mean it's got it's got one of these Bro, bro, it's it's for children, dude. There's a little there's a little gum gum opening tab thing at the side. I didn't even notice it. Why are you having so much problems with this? I don't know. It's like the prerequisite for opening it is having thumbs, dude. Okay, you know what? A monkey might be better at this than me. Oh, uh, don't, don't insult monkeys. My <laughs> a couple of my good friends are monkeys. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, so only Dark Ellis doll. Okay. There's one pro, and then you have the. You got the draft rulers. The draft rulers for, you know, doing your draft stuff. Basic stones, which, yes, makes sense. Oh, okay, so then the Dark Alice doll. Yeah, these are just. That's probably gonna be the inbox promo then, as well. Yeah. The ones. The yeah, this is definitely stones. gonna be the inbox promo. That's awesome! I do like this color, I I, like the, this alt art of it. That's awesome. Well, I think I'll I like gonna, it better than the original. I'm gonna yoink this one, because uh, I'm gonna put that directly into my Brunhild Life ge game deck. Yoink. Well, I mean, you can have this one. <laughs> Yours comes with two. Shh. I want them both. You bought like five boxes, dude. You're gonna have more than a place out of these things. No, no. It's okay. It's well, why, okay. Are you, why are you opening no, the good. second one? Oh, I don't even know. Why did you? Oh my god. Fine, you a fine. Problem, dude. <laughs> hey, I do have a problem for opening stuff. Okay, and anyways, and then in here, we have these beautifully displayed Force of Will Strangers of New Valhalla packs. You know what Magic the Gathering has been doing in the last, like, maybe four? I actually think maybe forever. Oh, I do have something I want to say about them. Go on, go on, go okay. on. Okay. Before, okay, before you start opening. Yeah. 
so before you start opening, <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, one thing that I really like that magic, yeah, because they can hear me <laughs> over your. Oh god. Oh god. This, go on. Go this on. Recording's already a train wreck. The one thing that I really liked about opening uh, booster boxes of. Magic the Gathering is that they would have like four or five different arts for the packs. Yeah. Like it doesn't affect what's in the packs, but this just looks kind of cool. Like they only ever do one art for Force of Will, and I don't know why they do that. <sighs> I do. I don't. I mean, cheaper. Yeah. One okay, okay, one more thing, one more thing. Because I'm always talking about just like random miscellaneous stuff that has nothing to do with the actual card game, just a little surficial shit. I really like the packaging that they have for these, like, uh, draft promos, right? These pre-release yeah. promos. Cause like, I still have mine from back when, uh, back in Wins of the Almost Moon, the like, Mist Dragon. Mm -hmm. And they didn't come in a little pack. They literally just had like a little rubber band around them. I'm just like, wow, these could get damaged. Yeah. So that's, uh, that's a little... Well, mind you, they've taken a little bit more care with these boxes from lots of it, considering there's more cardboard and stuff. So, the one cool thing I learned about Magic, like, I haven't played it in forever, but the one cool thing I learned about Magic, I'm gonna start opening these while I talk. Um, is that they actually include free little booster boxes and then the shop can just be like, are you interested in like, I'm interested in, uh, in card games and the shop can just literally be like, oh here, try this game out. It's like, how much is it? It's free, go try it, sit down, play it. And it's like, and apparently they did this with uh, Force of Will a while back. Yes, they, I think I actually still have one of the pre-built. Pre yeah, like it was like a pre-built which you can split off into one full deck or two little mini decks. So, I mean, that was pretty cool. That's kind of what they oh, want. Oh, hold up. What? First of all. Oh no, is my greatest fear No realized? QR codes. Oh no, they actually did away with it. The age of the QR codes is gone. I wonder what they're gonna do now. Oh, okay, we'll see. Well, is okay, there, first off. Is, is there something in the actual package? No, there's nothing. Is there something on the, oh well, they're done. They're, they're, they're gone. They're 100% they're, they're done. They're gone. Okay. First up, we have Skyron Musketeer, two blue. Enter, put a 100-100 counter on this card. It's okay for a two drop. 6-4. Mm -hmm. Spectre of the Abyss. This one's already been like sneak peeked to us. I mean, flying. they've all been sneak peeked, you goof. All the cards? Yeah, Even? all, every single card. Well, okay, they have put it up. I don't. I didn't know that. I don't think I've seen this one. I've yeah, seen this one the, for sure. You can see the full Spectre of the list. Abyss. Uh, Seamer's Disciple. Is that how you say it? Card Construct, I have seen this one. God's Choice, I do like this art style. Although it kind of reminds me like of a 3D, almost like a Brunhild. Mm -hmm. Like a Valkyrie, which is cool. Oh, there you go. Oh yeah, there's the yeah. card. We there's the card we had no idea what was in, actually in here. Pass it over, I wanna see what it does. Okay. Oh. Okay, Annihilation Dragon, this card attacks, deals 200 damage to target J slash resonance. So, what? That sucks. Yeah. Okay, cool. What rarity is it? It is probably an un uncommon. Oh no, it's common. Huh, why would they put a common card on the freaking mat? I guess they're running out of ideas. <laughs> I don't know, you can stroke its little. Dude, tell me to my face perfect. you wouldn't prefer that on a mat. I would. I would. Like, in all honesty, this is. <gasps> Counter number one! Anyways, uh. Um... Oh wow, I'm actually gonna keep track of that. <laughs> number one. <laughs> Contract demon. Yeah, okay, so put this in your deck. I mean, uh, eventually, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the six Jizo statues. I just want to call them Jizo statues, so no. I stop myself. I stop myself. And then for the rare, we have Liz, Sealed God of Island. It's eight cost! Yes, but I think she does a bunch of stuff to make her cheaper, though. Okay, you may pay one less to play this card for each resonator you control. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so I guess if you control six, so. But the only thing this would. Does green literally pump out resonators that quickly? Green can, yeah. Okay. Other resonators you control gain barrier. Awesome. Rune cost three. Enter. Put target non magic stone, non resonated card from your graveyard into your hand. Cool. And then we have the Neo Berserk Dragon as a rare and full art. So wait, what? Oh, that's so the guy that comes in the box. Yeah. Which one do you like better? I actually kind of like the one in the box better than the one that came as a promo. I do like this one better. I don't know, it's just, it looks better. Yeah. Leave us a comment below, see which one, which one you guys prefer. Huh. See, this is why I don't do unboxings. They take forever, because I just keep awing at the art and being like, oh my god, that's so cool. 
I've already seen it, but it's still cool. It's... Blueberry. This is questionable at best. Actually, probably I think the rares. I'm gonna have to go through them again. Mysterious Welcome Party. I love this card. Like just, the effect of the art? No, just the art. Oh. Just the art itself. Like, you have a little bunny just like sitting there in the corner going, Oh, I'm not invited to party. I think that's meant to be Adam. Like, that's what I think so too. Because we have, uh, that's Ayu, right? Yep. I don't know who that, that is. That guy's new. He's from this set. Okay, and then Alice. she's the doll Alice, right? Mm -hmm. And then that's supposed to be Adam. Okay, so it's a quick cast for one cost. Choose one, prevent the next 800 damage that would be dealt to a target resonator until end of turn, or you gain 800, 800 life. This would be good. Another good card in your deck. Uh, Ruined Devils, cost of four, 1,600 defense. This little devil, well, I'm doing, okay, it doesn't really do anything. Another same as the sample. Dark Soldier of Fallen, it's a human. Um, two cost, 600, 400, first strike. I mean, this, I was kind of thinking about throwing this into my, uh, my like, Lucifer deck. Yeah. Because it's a, it's a cheap two cost, and it's pretty big, 600, 400. Yeah. With the I mean, first strike. pretty much red on curve. Yeah. Ideally, you'd want a 600, 600 for a two drop. But, I mean, you gain first strike, so. Yeah. But whenever you play a rune, draw a card, banish this card, destroy it. Well, there you go. Play a, rune, uh, play a rune, draw a card, banish this card, destroy target edition. This would also be good for your deck. March Her uh, March Hero Valhalla. Oh, there we go. Here he is. 600, 600. Like you were saying, right on target. Rune 2 gains Drain. Rune 4, this kind of gains 300, 300. That's kind of nice. And it's aware of it. Power of Immortality. 2 cost. This is a chant rune. You may pay one less to play this card from your rune area, so one cost from your rune. Target Resonator gets 400 zero. When this card is put into the graveyard from the field, put it into the field rested under its owner's control until the end of turn. I like that. Basically, that'd be good for Lich. Yeah. But actually, any Darkness deck. Uh, how do you pronounce this one? Oh lord, here we go. That is a hard one. Magellanica? Magellanica. Magellanica or Magellanica? Magellanica, the ball warrior. 12, he's big for a four cost? 1200, 1200 is pretty big. Yeah, and he's also got a- That's, a, that's Belial size. Yeah. That's insane. Play this card only if you control a mini tri uh, Mimi tribe. Enter, this card gains swiftness, precision, and cannot attack players until the end of the turn. However, you can attack resonators. Yep. Uh, rest a Recover resonated, you control. This card gains 200, 200 until the end of the turn. So 1400, that's pretty ridiculous considering it has swiftness and precision. Yeah, not to mention the fact that that thing lets you uncover stuff or recover stuff. Yeah. Which means if you use those little dinkies that like tap to produce mana. No, you rest a recover resonated. Oh, you rest. I thought, okay. Okay, never I'm mind, good. never mind. Okay, maybe I read something else out loud, but it says rest the recover resonator. I thought you said recover target resonator. I might have said recovered. Okay, I, well, I could've, I could've well. just, it's been a long day, guys, so I could have easily said that. And then we have Messenger of the Sun for a two cost, 200, 400. This just seems like a useless card. Whenever you play a rune, draw a card, banish this card, destroy target division. Oh, never mind. You literally just never said Never mind. <laughs> this card is literally the greatest card ever. <laughs> Same card in full art, this card is trash. <laughs> hey, that's actually pretty good for your deck too. Oh my god. I'm surprised anyone thinks that we have any form of credibility. <laughs> well, let's see if I can actually open these. I'm still disappointed about the hero codes. Damn, Swordman Heroic Spirit, 600, 600, two, co uh, two cost. This card gains 100 for each other Heroic Spirit you control. Hmm, I actually wonder what Heroic Spirits we have. Sand Soldier, two cost, 800, 600. At the end of the battle, this card attacked or blocked, destroy it. Rune three, this card gains 400, 400. Wow. For a two drop? 1200? Mm -hmm. That's pretty nice. Skyfall, I like this card, the way it looks. I just hate all of the machine cards, period, because I know that Dayman's going to play them, and then I'm just going to stop playing this game. But That's what's going to happen. <laughs> this card gains quick cast, as long as it is in your hand, and you control the machine resonator, return target resonator to its owner's hand. Ugh, yeah, I remember what it does now. Cost of four, Ancient Ruins, Researcher, 900, 1100, enter, draw a card. Hey Nova, hey Nova, can you look at the cost again real quick? 
five. Yeah, bud. What's three plus two? Five. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Thanks. So we have Master Hager. Master yeah, for basic arithmetic. Basic arithmetic. We're right. Cost of three. Is it good? Did I count right? Amen. <laughs> 700, 800, enter. You gain 600 life. Oh my god, this deck is like built for your weird, like, healing stuff. Uh, underhanded assassin. God, it looks like Rubby, but that's cool though. Three cost, 600, 900. Whenever this card blocked or blocked by a resonator, this card gains 400, 100 until the end of the turn. Which is so. Sick. How does this work? Like, whenever it blocks, so if I declare it as a blocker, does it automatically get 400, or yep. only when it actually blocks? Well, I mean, if they're if they're proclaiming, I mean, when the damage goes through or when declared is what I mean. When they when you declare it. Okay. More Sheriff on Hala, we've already seen this. Precision Guided Unity Sky Beat. Oh, that is so trippy. Doesn't this just look like National Blades? Yeah, I think that's what they were going for. Oh. It's still with the. Okay, machine three cost, 800, 800. Uh, it's a machine, obviously. Flying, machines you control gain 100 counter on them. Wait, machines you control with a 100 100 counter on them gain flying. That's, That's so stupid. For oh three my cost. god. Yes, this one. I really like this art. I really like this art. Athena, sealed god of ruin. 1200, 1000. It's five cost. Enter. Your opponent banishes a resonator. If they don't, they banish a magic stone, which is. It's kind of a late game card, and they're most likely bound to have Resonator out. No, because you can just play with Heroic Epic for three, right? So all you have to do is play this really early game, let's say as early as turn four or whatever. Okay. You kill their Resonator that's on the field, this thing hits the field, and they're forced, forced. to banish the stone. Gotcha. And then you just screwed them. Okay, I didn't think about Heroic Epic, but yeah, see, this way you've been playing this game longer. When this card is put into the graveyard from the field, your opponent banishes a non j ruler entity. Again, it has to be a... Uh, Magic Stone, right? Or, uh, or a Resonator. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, if you tap it, Resonators you opponent controls gain 200 200 until the end of the turn. If there are four or more runes revealed from the rune area, Resonators your opponent controls gain 400 400 instead. Chamimi's Contemplation. That's a chant, two cost. As you play this card, you may rest a recovered Mimi Tribe you control. If you do, you pay two le uh, Oh wow, you play for free. You play this card. This target resonator gains 300, 300 until the end of the turn, draw a card. Wow. That's awesome. For a free card? We got really gotta build a green deck. I Yeah, we do. I wonder if there's any Kamimis right now that have some sort of an ability that triggers if they've been rested. Cause that would be really good synergy if that was the case. That would be kind of cool. Yeah, viewers, if you guys know a Kamimi that passively gets some sort of a buff or something from being tapped, give us a heads up. Yeah, Zan, hurry up. <laughs> Is that like our only viewer now? We just specifically cater to Zan? <laughs> no. And actually, um, Master Page and I were talking about uh, this. Some of our viewers did request, like, we do kind of introduction videos, and I'm going to get together with... Um... Did they? Yeah. I'm kind of like, I just started playing this game. Can you guys, do you guys have any videos about how to actually play some of this, like, how to start playing the game? There was, a, there was one person in this particular. You know what I think would be great? And I know I've been griping way too much on Falco. At the same time, I've been, like, hardcore giving praises. Yeah. Why does, why are there no videos on their, like, on their thing? On their thing? On their Facebook? Maybe there are. I don't There's, know. They have a YouTube channel. They do have a YouTube channel. But and they, they put videos, and it's only Grand Prix stuff, which is Grand Prix. God, Grand Prix, Grand Prix stuff. Man, and you call yourself Canadian, you don't even know that Prix no. is pronounced pre. I call myself Canadian. You call yourself Canadian. <laughs> okay, but like, seriously though, like you should be able to get onto their face, or, oh yeah, their Facebook page or their YouTube page. I was about to say okay. Yahoo. I'll, oh, I'll really? just keep opening while you go, while you talk. Go on. Um, and just find like ten videos or like a bunch of playsets or playsets playlists. What is with me today? God. We're both in the same boat. Yeah, but I oh, I love this card. Sorry. Gorilla guy. Go on. Uh, yeah, just playlists that tell you how to play. Did you even like? What's the rare in this pack you just opened? You just went straight to the full art, you dummy. Mm. What did you? What did, what's the rare? What's the second last card? I have no idea. Rare sand awakening. Okay, let me read it, you goof. Mm. Okay, it's a two drop, quick cast, chant rune. You may pay one less to play this card from the rune area, so it's a one colorless, essentially. 
Uh, target resonator gains plus two plus two until the end of turn. It's a fire resonator it gains plus four plus eight. What are you talking about? This is a one drop super buff. That's an amazing card. I would run the crap out of that in Fuji. I don't know, I'm sure you would, but in terms of looks, they're, they're kind of both Honestly, the same king. Honestly, if I saw these two dudes fighting <laughs> in the back alley, I would put my money on this guy. Why, because he's a big sand guy, or? Yeah, because he's a sand person man. But Kong, stone, dude. Kong, who's wearing, like, literally looks like he's wearing an elephant's, like, skin. Well, that's not very nice. Just, just, if he, FK, if this guy can take down an elephant, like, my money's on him. Well, maybe the elephant was already dying. <laughs> maybe the elephant had, like, okay, anyways, some horrible disease. This is why we need to build a green deck. It's a seven cost, 2,000, 2,000. It, it's it's okay. pretty expensive. Enter. Destroy, target, non-magic stone, and your Wait. With total cost four or less. Yeah, okay. When this card attacks, other beasts you control gain 500 or 500 until the end of the turn. Can you heroic okay. epic two like two things at once? It'd what? be too expensive if you heroic epic two different cards. I mean, you could, but which ones would you want to? Like these heroic two? epic is a three drop. Oh, is it? So, so if you heroic two of these, one of them would definitely get twenty four hundred attack. Well, yeah, but at the end of turn, it returns to your hand, so you'd have to give it swiftness. Yeah, fair enough. Never mind. Yeah. Like, I mean, we've pretty much already got this card, though. Do we? Yeah, it's called freaking uh, Gear Atmos. Oh. He's, all, he's a 2000 2000 uh, seven drop golem that's for two white and five colors. Oh, I did not know that. Well, okay. Skills of the. See, Force of Will doesn't blah. make new cards, they just make new art with slightly different abilities. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. I like this card. I like this card, too. It's guarantees 100 for each other heroic spirit you control. Well, here's another. Circles of the Mist, Lady Hunt, blah, blah, blah. Ruins scumbered beneath the Misty Spring. I do like the art on this. Okay, I'm just gonna go straight to the <laughs> super rare. Oh, it's another big one. Why is fire so expensive? Five cost, 1500, 1500. One of this card is dealt damage. You may search your deck for a sand resonator with total cost three or less and put it into your field and shuffle your deck. And if you have three runes, this card deals 800 damage to each resonator. That's nice. If you have three, oh no, you have to pay. No, no, I was just saying that if you have like three fire runes. Is yeah. That... Okay. Okay. And then, ooh, graveyard vampire. I haven't seen this in full art yet. I don't think I've seen that card. Period. That is very beautiful. Four cost, six hundred, seven hundred. Remove two resonators in your graveyard from the game. This card gains 400, 400 until the end of the turn. Play this ability only once per turn, so it becomes a one thousand eleven hundred. So it's kind of like a play on the Dark Knight. Oh, not Dark Knight, what is it called? Disgrace Knight. Why is that a play on Disgrace Knight? Because Disgrace Knight, okay, not a play, but it's kind of the same concept as Disgrace Knight is what I mean. Just remove stuff from your graveyard yeah. and... Yeah, I mean, like, considering that most abilities, unless they specify on their card, are at instant speed, if you're swinging for six and they think they've got the buffer of, yeah. like, whatever life, and you get that buff, you could win. Yeah. So it, it's a nice little addition, but a six, seven for four is kind of steep. Yeah, it's kind of garbage. But, I don't know. It's not my hedgehog. He's gonna run again, sewing. Zombie 400 400 for a three cost when this card is put into the grave from, from the field. Put two 200 200 darkness zombie braids into the field. That's kind of nice for a three cost. Yeah, yeah, that's not bad. I mean, it'd be nice. Wait, how strong are the zombies? 200 200. It's just extra bodies. Yeah, but this thing's a freaking three drop 4 4 though. Agreed. That's half the stats it should have. March of the Dead. Put target resonator with total cost two or less from your graveyard into the field. Oh, two or less again. Gosh, darn it. Put what, up are you one... what is literally your favorite resonator? Yeah, I know, Gene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. So what are, you, what are you complaining about, bud? Put up to put up two one second target resonator with total cost two or less from your graveyard into the field if this card was awakened. So yeah, can... and those things, if you have For one... three cost, yeah, that's nice. Okay, for three, let me finish. <laughs> okay, yeah. If you have one of the resonator on the field and you use this thing, you've got two Jones in your, in your yeah. grave, They've got swiftness when they hit the field anyway. 
So you just complete. one has to. Oh, did it come? Oh, yeah, they come at the same time. They're... No, no, no. It's not about them coming at the same time. It's it, it doesn't specify when it hits the field. It will have this. No, it specifies when you control three. You're right. Yes, it gains. Yep. So at any point. You're right. No, Ooh, you're I was right. actually like stupidly looking forward to this card. Yeah. We'll have to show it first. Or okay. In the lost. meantime, flying squirrel. This card gains zero minus two hundred and flying until the end of the turn. Wow. Okay, well, you're kind of useless, girl. Yeah. It's called uh, Orchard of the Immortals. Um, the only thing that I would say that kind of makes this card a little bit of a burning, burning, <laughs> burning trash fire yeah. is all of the addition hate that came out in this set. Yeah. But if it wasn't for that, I think this card would actually have a lot of really cool plays. You can read it out if you want. Uh, whenever a non-token resonator is put into the graveyard from the field, put a fruit counter on this card. Remove three fruit counters from this card, put it 800 800 Darkness Lash Resonator into the field. This would be. This kind of work against the green deck more because they have to play a lot more chance or not well, really? No, no, no. If you play this against a green deck, they would just immediately use like a chant rune or something. Or even that. I think that elf chick like destroys. Oh, additions. because additions. God damn it. Addition hit. Yeah. But the cool thing about that card is that you run that thing with. Um, the the black elemental or whatever the eggplant looking dude that yep. you, I'm always sacking in my lich deck to like get yep. minus four to something that counts as a counter anytime you're killing your opponent's resonators that counts as a counter so mm -hmm. you put this thing out as early as turn three or even early with that, that it's any time a resonator is put into the grave not yours oh a non -to a non token resonator yeah non token okay oh, so I didn't say token okay. So if you're using a constant like field control, and if you had this thing on the field and you drop a, what's his face, a freaking uh, Belial, yeah, and you just killed a bunch of your opponent's resonators, oh, yeah. that's all counters onto this thing. Yeah. And the cool thing is, is that you you don't have to immediately remove the counters off of it to get yeah. that eight eight. So if you've got a way of giving stuff swiftness, like if you ran um, high speed or that other thing that came out in mm -hmm. World Winds of the Ominous Moon. You can give that token swiftness, and then it's like an 8-8 that you just summon randomly, give it swiftness, and then swing into your opponent for game. Sweet. But it's a three-drop addition, and there's a lot of addition hate right now. Oh, well, speaking of addition hate, four costs for a green deck. At the end of your turn, reveal the top card of your magic stone deck. If it's a wind magic stone, put it into your field. I don't understand why they do this. They, like, they keep hinting at stuff that you can do multiple colors, and they haven't released anything yet. What are you talking about? This kind of, to me, hints at the fact that you should be running multiple stones. No, that literally implies that you should only run wind, because then at the end oh. of the turn, you're getting an extra stone every turn. Okay, never mind. Reading the card right now. Come on, man. Ah, <laughs> uh, Rune Devil. I thought, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. This is different cost in the... Did I not get one in the original? Heck, hold up. Hold up. This is going to bug me now. I got it. Oh no, it's the same cost, okay. Did you see that? Okay, for... Oh, never mind. I'm gonna lose my mind now. Unless somebody mess with it. You're passing the guards. I'm gonna separate out your rares, just so we know after we've opened up. Just whatever. give me two seconds. Okay, this card. Yes. Did you see the fact that the I alt did. art is, has okay. a, like 1200, 1200? The bigger question is, do you think they're gonna go back on it and say errata, this is meant to say 1010 as opposed to 1012? I don't know. Or do you think they're gonna say, by the way, this was a goof, but this was meant to be a variant? Because you know variant cards exist, right? Yeah, I, I know. But this isn't meant to be a variant card. This is meant to be a promo art. So it's supposed to have the exact same cost, same yeah. effects, and same stats, but a different art. I don't know, Skyfall. Frontline Warrior, Gravier Vampire, blah, 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 another dragon that we hate. This guy is new. Sima Hui, the Crafty Tactician. 800, 900, 4 cost. Enter. Look at the top 4 cards of your deck. You may play a fire card with total cost 1 from among them with, without paying its cost. Put the rest of the bottom of your deck in random order. Hmm. Interesting. It's kind of. Teleport. Reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a resonator, put it into the field. Interesting, it's Chant Room. Orpheus, the Immortal Player. 600, 500 for a cost of 2. Remove a resonator in your graveyard from the game. Put a 200, 200 Darkness Zombie Resonator from the field. Uh, sorry, token into the field. And then we have Monk Heroic Spirit. 800, 800 for a cost of 3. This card gains 0, 100 for each other Heroic Spirit you control. Did you, did you look up how many um, 
master rooms are gonna come per box? Like, was there a, a consensus no, on that? No, no, I did not look anything random? up. I, I have no idea. Okay, I'm curious about that. Like, that's, that's gonna be, that's gonna be weird. I wonder if that's gonna be almost like an inbox promo kind of thing. Spectre, Sound Soldier, Valkyrie of Dawn. I like this Valkyrie. It's a cost of, oh, it's a cost of four, but it does look, look at the art. That looks pretty cool. Jimmy, we've already seen it. Corrupt Technician. Three cast, quick cap. Sorry, three cost, quick cap. Three cast, quick cap. <laughs> quick cap. Target Resonator you control gains 800, zero, and target Resonator your opponent controls gains zero minus 800 until the end of the turn. I kind of like this card for a four cost. No, it's just, it's just not good. No? Okay, fine. <laughs> Everything I like, because like, you have to well, maybe my Maybe you should get better taste, Nova. <laughs> I like the Mermaid too. 200, 800, cost two at the end of your turn, for C1 card. What's, oh, okay, okay yeah. so 4C is literally what Teacher Teacher used to do back in the day, where he just keep looking at the top card of his deck. Yeah. But everybody kept telling him to stop. <laughs> so now it's an ability! <laughs> Uh, cast build a Fallen Angel of Rebellion. One of the, I think there's only two or three Fallen Angels in this, in this um, block. Okay, okay, so here's the absolutely hilarious part of this card that just makes it kind of bad. Okay, so what does his enter ability say? Each player banishes a Resonator. You can banish him. So if he's the <laughs> only card you're playing, he hits the field and then you immediately have to banish him. <laughs> so can you imagine, you're playing a, against another Lucifer deck. You're top decking. You go like, finally, a Resonator. You play him and then you have to banish him. It's like, thanks, Force of Will. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Fiend Calling Whistle. Quick cast, one, champ rune, you pay one more, play this card from the rune area, search your deck for a ninja, reveal it, and put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck. The Three Kingdoms Partition Plan, four cost, champ master rune. You oh, pay three less to play this card if your J ruler is Fuzi, or Fuzi the king of blah blah blah. <laughs> Separate all resonators your opponent controls into three piles, your opponent chooses one pile and banishes the rest. Hmm. Yes. It's the same thing as the the blue deck with the Dana had in his, like mm -hmm. Dayman had in his. But this is even better because oh. they only get one of three. Hey, <laughs> what are the chances? You got a full art master room. That's sick, dude. Okay, well, cool. Full art master room. Okay, so this is how we'll do it. Just to, This is how I do it in my videos. Yep. Make a pile for all the other cards. Yep. Make a pile for full arts. Yep. So I guess on top of this here dragon. And then make a pile for your rares and super rares. Okay. Okay. What about on commons? Just no, just uh, everything else. Just put into the two piles here. Okay. How many how many packs have you opened so far? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not that many. Like I told you, it takes me forever. You want to start opening some? No, no, no. I'll do the I'll do the second half. I'll do the second video. God, we're, okay. we're gonna open all these guys. You guys are gonna be very bored. Let's just try talking about something else in the meantime. Like a Falco, send us some god dang starter decks for our local shop. Tired of doing stuff for you. Yeah. Oh. Eh, yeah, March of the Dead. Yeah. Oh, snap! Yeah. Where's the super rare? Uh, it's right in the middle. This one? Yep. That's then, rare. It, rares and super rares go uh, here, and then just okay. put all your full arts. It doesn't matter if they're rares or super rares, put all your full arts here. Okay, gotcha. So then we'll just nab this and put it over here. I think you almost already got like a full playset of uh, Athena's. Yeah, I know. That's one of the cards I was pretty excited about. Oh, well, I don't think we've ever seen this guy. Wheel drone. Cost yeah. of five, 1200 and 900. For a two, this card gains flying until the end of the turn. Hmm. Which is nice, because again, you literally just swing with that thing. Yeah. Your opponent goes to declare a blocker on the ground. You're like, huh, pay two. You got 12 coming at you flying. What <laughs> up? Uh, interesting. Card construct, we've already seen this. Stormcat, we haven't seen this one. Sound cost good. of five is a chant. Nope, cost of six. <laughs> Nova can't add today. You may pay one less to play this card, but if you control a ninja, so you can play potentially five. Ha, ah, see, that was right. Yeah, you're, you're coincidentally <laughs> right. This card deals 2,000 damage to a target resonator. That's the... That's not good, though. It's, is it Question. J resonator or just resonator? No resonator. It's just resonator? Oh my god! Alright, well that's going in that pile. Yeah. <laughs> uh palace check. You control six. Yeah, I'm sure you gain six control. I've seen this one. We've seen this one. 
We haven't seen this one yet. No, that one's really Margaret, cool. the operator. 600, 600, it's a four car. Enter. Put a 100, 100 counter on any number of target machine resonators. It's nice. Um, if you like tap it and play a water rune, not rune, a uh, water stone, recover another target machine resonator and put a 100, 100 counter on it. Honestly, I, I like know... the enter to better than the best. Well, the enter is good, but even its tap is really good because you get one yeah. of your really buff resonators and you just tap this thing to make it even stronger and then untap and keep swinging with it. The second that thing hits the field anytime it's going up against my darkness decks, yep. that thing dies. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna like this one. It's a chant room, quick cast, one cost. Prevent all damage you would be dealt by a chant on the end of the turn. It's kinda nice. I mean, that'd be a good sideboard for the Broomhill deck we made because like, you could be going up against a really aggressive bird deck. I just... Mm, yeah, I get Like, I just, just isn't really that good right now. This, oh, it's a four cost. No, five cost. Oh my, my god, god uh. Nova! Just look at the symbols! Use your fingers, man! They're like, there's two, two of the circular plus bits, three. and then there's the number three! Yeah, so we have five, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh lord. In under 1500. Fine, at the end of your turn, we covered all resonators you control. That's kind of nice. Yep. Yeah. And then, still the. Oh, you got a full art! You lucky bastard! Oh, that's uh, Mistaline. Yeah. Mistaline, the pious sword saint. That's awesome! I hope I get a full art too. That's gorgeous. 1200 to 1200. Five cost. Oh my god, I had to do that. My brain had to work there. Human Wanderer, you may pay one last to play your next room this turn. Oh, wow, that's actually really nice. So you get to pay one light and one colorless light. Yes. That's so, actually really nice. Essentially what this card allows us to do, especially in the Burnhill deck, is that other than um, Odin's Wrath, it makes all of our runes essentially free. Yeah. Whenever you play a rune from a rune area, put target re resonator with total cost of three or less from your graveyard into the field. So you also get to pull stuff back. The only thing that's kind of sucky about this card and the synergy with the Burnhill deck yep. is that because all of our... Um, all of our runes are really low cost. By turn five, we've probably already used them all. But you don't have to. It says whenever... Oh, whenever you play a rune. I'm right? sorry. Yeah, you're right. Whenever this card blocks or is blocked by a resonator, destroy that resonator. So that's kind of nice. Kinda so like, you pretty much just give that thing... The, yeah. the, the card that lets it not die until the end of turn, just keep blocking. Boop, boop, you're dead. Boop, you're dead. Untap. Yeah. Boop. That's kind of nice, actually. I really like that oh card. Oh my god, that is such a... Oh, I want that card so bad. You're so lucky. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm legitimately excited to see what chase rares you get in this. Okay, if you don't get a full art, I'll give you that one. Yay! Possibly. Oh. Most likely. Most likely. Oh, yeah. oh, we haven't seen this guy. Whoop! What does that do? Cost of four. Glaze of the Fire Emperor. This card deals 1200 damage to target J Resonator. Is the Fire Emperor running a donut shop now? It's the Glaze of the Fire Emperor? I don't care. It's the Gaze, dog, <laughs> not the Glaze. He's not making old fashions covered in sugar. <laughs> I'm still gonna call it the Glaze. The Glaze. Oh, we gotta put like a giant donut in the middle. And that, just call it the Glazening. <laughs> <laughs> you ruin all my jokes, dude. Uh, Lady Hog. Bro, are you illiterate? <laughs> yes. Are you one of those guys that people talk about those infomercials that are like, <laughs> one in five adult Canadians can't read? It would help if I had my glasses. I forgot my glasses. <laughs> my glasses, my glasses. Dude. Oh, uh, where's that from? Uh, they're gonna bug me now. That's from uh, Scooby Doo, I think. Is it? Yeah, the. Okay. That one Chaining thing. Hatred. I don't think we've seen this one. It's a five cost. This is Chant Rune. You pay one more to play this card from the Rune area. Target three resonators. The first gains minus 800, minus 800. The second gains minus 600, minus 600. And the third gains minus 400, minus 400 until the end of the turn. I don't really like that. I still like this one that does minus 600 fields. And it's cheaper. Okay, I'm gonna give this one. I, I I'm gonna give it. this card, Master Fiji's official garbage card <laughs> seal of approval. That card is officially trash. We'll just well, take. Okay, well, we'll hold on. We'll this. just take it out of the list. Just, okay. <laughs> well, let's let's just talk about it real quick. Okay. So why is Chaining Hatred a bad card? 
One, it has target. Yeah. So for all the stuff that's got barrier, it's not gonna do diddly squat. Yeah, okay. agreed, agreed. Two, we've already got a, a, a good divinity card. That's a three cost. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Jet Black Wind. Which is better. That does blanket six to everything, so you don't have any of this garbage with the like, oh, this one gets six, this one gets four, that one gets eight. The only part of this effect that's any good is that this one does a little bit more on one resonator. Right? This yeah. one only lets you target three. Yeah. Jet Black Wings does it to everything. Yeah. It's more consistent. Yeah. It's, it's just, just more better. Consistent. It's just better. I agree with you. Okay, we've already seen this one, but we did get a table flip in full art. I thought we were taking that one out of the just, just, no, it's just, it's just leaves. Just, it's just leaves. Put it just in the corner so it's in uh, the garbage lines. pile. We'll add it to the garbage pile. <laughs> but I want to separate a lot of the cards. Oh out. yeah, just like just, uh, not <laughs> that one. <laughs> uh, we're being too rough on this deck, but like okay, or on this set. I, I told you that the second set of foul yeah. is always notoriously bad. There is good cards in here. I just wanted the full arts. I'm a full art to work. But anyways, no, you just kind four of cards. In general. <laughs> Chat Master Room, Table Flip. Oh, I hate this card. I hate this card so much. You may pay three less to play this card if your jail ruler is Hanser or Hanser Chief of the blah blah blah. Don't care. Choose one. If Target Resonator will be dealt damage this turn, prevent it. Mm -hmm. If then if this card deals oh wait, prevent it. Then this card deals 800 damage to that resonator instead. Or target chance spell would be dealt damage this turn, prevent it. This card deals half of damage to your opponent instead. God damn it. Just, just, just. It's, it's essentially... I'm starting to hate, really hate the green deck. Like, I'm just like... I'm legitimately, legitimately surprised it took you this long to start hating green. Well, mind you, I haven't played that many of them. Uh, that's fair. I don't play green, other than Gil. But he's not even really a green deck. He's yeah. mostly other colors. Yeah. 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 Seen it. Ninja students haven't seen this one. One cost, four, three. First strike for a cost of two and uh, one colorless, put a 100-100 counter on this card. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, but I mean, even if you don't run it that way, having a 4-3 one drop's pretty good, especially yeah. for cat ninjas. Another card that green gets that I hate, dude. Gets Look barrier at this card. a chance, yeah. Dude, it's an 8-5 two drop. Yeah. That literally has the stats of a three drop for a two drop. It's yeah. a cat ninja and it gets chant barrier. Yeah. Ah! All under heavens shall perish. Oh, I like this one. Chant rune. You pay one more to play this card from the rune area. Four cost, five if you play it from your rune. This card deals 500 damage to each resident your opponent controls. If your life is a thousand or less, this card deals a thousand damage instead. Yes, and yeah, I know it's that... It's kind of a nice last-ditch effort, I guess. Well, it doesn't even oh, have to I like be this a last-ditch effort, because fire is pretty notorious for, yeah. like, well, burning yourself, too, right? Yeah. Uh, Have like you been splitting one. up your rares and super rares like I asked you to? Yeah, I want to say yes. Maybe. <laughs> Possibly. Or maybe say yes. Super Mobile Fortress Camelot. 1200, 1200 for a 6 drop. Flying Enter. Return up to two target resonators your opponent controls to their owner's hands. If you control a card named. Uh, how do you pronounce this? Geneva? Gunver? <laughs> Gwenevere. MacGyver. I'm just going to call MacGyver. him MacGyver. The Mobility the Queen. Queen. <laughs> Destroy those resonators instead. And then we have the Sky Round Musketeer, which is... Hmm. Oh, actually, put a 100 okay. counter on this card. Did we, make you, did we make you an Arthur deck? No. Okay, we need to make you an Arthur deck with all these amazing machines. This what I wanted to do, and people were like talking to me about it, is I didn't want to do Arthur, I just wanted to do like a Loki machine deck. That's... Loki's just bad, dude. Loki's I know. Loki's not a good ruler right now. And unfortunately, she got like no support this set. She got a little bit of support. Okay, when the card comes up, show it to me because I'm gonna call you a liar. Yeah, yeah. It's... One of our guys in our player group saying that he got some, like there was some support, but apparently no. Oosh, what does that one do? What does this that one, one do? Fiend Call and Whistle. We've already read it. Have you? Yeah, search your deck for a ninja, reveal it, and put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck. It's a one cost. Well, seen this nice. one. Ruined Earth. We haven't seen this one, and I like really love the art in this one. Ruined Earth. You may pay one less to play this card from a ruined area. It is at a total cost of four. Chant Rune. Destroy target magic stone. Resonators. Okay. Destroy target magic stone. Resonators your opponent control gain minus 400, minus 400 until the end of this turn. I like this. Do you know what I think I would actually replace in my uh, Lich deck for that? What? Probably Jet Black Wings. Hmm. 
because you pay one less, right? Yeah. So it's only three costing cost. you three. And then it's a four cost. It becomes a four cost. Oh, sorry. So five, oh, I, I like, cannot add stuff to it. It's all good, dude. I get okay. it. You don't have your glasses. So it's a five cost, but we're going to be playing it from the rune area, which makes it a four cost. That makes it only one cost more than Jet Black Wings. Yep. It's a little bit shittier because it's not minus six, it's minus four to everything, but... You destroy them especially. You put your opponent back a turn. Yeah. Like... Fair enough. That's awesome. I can't wait to put that in This is deck. definitely going into my uh, my Lucifer deck because I had a rune, one rune that I couldn't use. Yeah. Like it was just like... And, and that's another thing. This yeah. is Divinity 2, whereas that one is Divinity 3. Yeah. So that might actually make it where you can play all five cards. That potentially could. Mutation Slime. This is questionable art of best. Four <laughs> cost. Questionable. <laughs> it makes me uncomfortable. It really does. Like <laughs> this guy back here looks cooler. What this guy blown up would have been cooler than whatever the heck this is. Did you ever watch the movie The Thing? No. Where it's like in, in Antarctica and there's that like weird slime thing that can like mutate and stuff? No. Oh come on, you seriously? No. That's Damn, like, it's dude. an old school movie. I've, I've seen part of it. I've never actually seen it. It is an old movie. school movie. I love it. Oh we haven't actually read this card out. Oh my <laughs> 900 100 defense it's obviously an ooze this card gains all race wait this card gains all race of resonators in your graveyard this card gains what 200 minus 200 on the end of the turn this card gains minus 200 plus 100 on the end of the turn okay so okay i'm now i'm confused okay you pay one this card gains plus 200 minus 200 until the end of the turn beneficially if you're attacking right okay yeah. This card gains minus 200 plus 200 until the end of the turn. So if you're blocking, okay? Return this card to its owner's hand for one. Why would I ever want to return it to my hand for a four cost? That's kind of expensive. Um, it is, but... Okay, here's here's a good way to... to What's a good scenario? It. Okay, so you know how whenever I go up against the Dayman's machine deck, he always has like, um... What is it? Shayla's yeah. Awakening or whatever, the one drop that pops stuff back to your hand. Yeah. I go for a kill spell and he'll just pop it back to hand. Sure, okay. he has to recost the card, and he, I don't think he ever did it on a four drop that's kind of steep. Yeah. But this one has it built into the card. So instead of having to wait for another resonator if your deck doesn't have a lot of resonators, this just guarantees that if somebody goes for a kill spell, you can get it back to hand. Okay. The thing I do like about this card is the ability right here. This card gains all races of resonators in your graveyard. So if you have something that gains off... There's already a card that I know that would synergize stupidly well with this. So just keep that card in the back of your mind. I'm going to find it and I'll okay. show it to you. I'll, I'll put it off to the side here for now. Okay. Because I, I don't remember... What, I, know the, I know there's a card in here. I just don't remember what it's called. It's the one that was supposed to be for Loki, but it's actually like way better in Machines. And really? Laughed. And I oh. definitely like kind of bitched people out for that on uh, on Facebook, but it was like, eh, it's whatever, it's because Loki got bottom of the barrel in this set. This is the card I was talking about. Ooh, there we go. Diverse Evolution, cost of three. You may pay one less to play this card from a ruin area, so two costs. The two costs. Target up to X resonators you control, where X is the number of different races among resonators you control. Put a 100-100 counter on the first, then repeat the process for each past the first, adding a 100-100 counter each time. For example, put a two counter on the put two counters on the second, three counters on the third, four counters on the yeah. So if you've got a bunch of resonators on the field and a few different types of races in your grave, yeah. that slime hits the field. That slime has all the races of the stuff, including ooze, yeah. Yeah. in your grave. So let's say you've got like two or three resonators that have a bunch of different uh, uh, yeah. races in your grave. That thing's on the field. Your first one gets one, second one gets two, three, four, five, six, however many resonators you have on the field. And they all get stupidly big. Yep. Yeah. So. I like this. Yeah. I really like it. That's a, that's a fun little combo right there. Uh, bullet Ball Thunderclap. Quick cast. As an initial cost to play this card, Banish Resonator. So, okay, that's fair enough. Champ Rune. This card deals damage equals a Banish Resonator attack to a target Resonator. If this card was awakened, it deals damage damage to the target and to your opponent instead. Ooh. That's annoying. So for cost of... Four. Four. That's kind of annoying. Ooh. Oh my god! You got oh you got a full art and the alternate art. I hate you so much. Oh, which card is that? That's the that's the alternate art of the sword saint, dude. Oh yeah, holy crap! Oh my god, I'm so envious right now. Holy crap, that's actually kind of nice. Wow. Okay. Cool. 
All the jealous. All the jealous all the time. I gotta see this. Yeah. God, we're already at 47 minutes. This thing's so anime, it's ridiculous. How do you make things more anime? <laughs> that actually looks very cool, though, for an anime card. It kind of looks like a character from like JoJo's. New card! Okay. Fox! Shigami. Shigami. 700-900. You pay one less to play this card if you control the Ying Yang Master. Interesting. Spirit of Moonlight. Doesn't do anything. Oh, this card cannot be attacked for one cost. Interesting. Scar around. Seen it. Seen it. Seen it. Seen it. Ooh, Dragon Zombie. Four cost. Oh, 600, 600. Target Resonator gains minus 600, minus 600 until the end of the turn. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, never mind. Yeah. The art just looks better. It does look really cool. Blade of Faith. Four cost. Champ Master Rune. You may pay three less to play this card if your Jade Lord is Brun Hilt or Brun Color of Spirits. Remove Target Resonator from the game. That's nice. That is nice, but that would be a good card to run in the deck, not necessarily in the the rune area. Sure, it makes it a four drop. No, it doesn't. You may pay three less if you control the ruler. Oh, so it's from anywhere. Yeah, oh, from nice. anywhere. Oh, cool. Yeah, then I've definitely run like a play set of those in my deck. Like, that's just weird. I don't deck. think I've ever seen a champ master rune. That's interesting. Yeah. That's actually very cool. Oh, full art of this little bad boy. I like that. Uh, so why did you call it this little bad boy? <laughs> <laughs> it makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> Okay, okay. No, you're just gonna make it weirder. <laughs> just keep going, you weirdo. Full out of this bad girl right here. That actually probably, <laughs> is that a chick? Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay, cool. I thought it was a chick, am well, I wrong? What's the name, what's the name? Mordred the Operator, so, I don't know. It's uh, 2019, whatever, I don't know. Whatever, dude, whatever. I don't it's, know. It is the current year. <laughs> Semi's Disciple. Ah, Ying Yang Master. Cost of 2, 500, 600. If you tap it, target Raider Generator gains 100, 100 until the end of the turn. If there are 3 or more runes revealed from your rune area, it gains 200, 200 instead. Meh, 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 meh. Yes! You know what? I want like 70 million of these things. <laughs> You're buying into that crap? You're actually gonna make a deck that's just nothing but those cats? Ah, come on. How funny would that be? It's already been done, dude! They Has did Croco Sharks like stupid no. long ago. It's the oh. same thing. Okay, yeah, well, I wasn't around then. Yeah, I kind of wasn't either. It was like right before I started. You may have a number of any number of copies of this card in your deck. Remove three cards named Peril the World Scrunger in your graveyard from the game. Reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a resonator, put it into the field. <laughs> It'd be a way. You know what would be kind of nice with the, yeah, kind of with the idea you were trying to go with that darkness deck, which is like tap a stone, sack the top resonator. If you could consistently like bring these guys to your graveyard mm -hmm. and then get something big. Well, if you if you run it in a blue, and I think it's made to be in a darkness water deck. So okay. Like light or dark or black, blah, 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 black, <laughs> black blue. Okay. Um, then you can keep discarding stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. We have the dragon, Mark of the spirits, eh. we're gonna beat the sands. Al oh, here we go. Alice, otherworldly visitor. Three cost, 800, 800. Another target resonator, okay, another target resonator gains 200, zero, and eternal to the end of the turn. That's nice. Yes. More stuff for keeping your, your light deck alive. When this card enters the field from your deck, put a two 100, 100 counters on it. For two light and three water, uh, colorless, banish this card, search your deck for a card named Alice Otherworldly Visitor, and put it into the field and shuffle your deck. So you let, essentially look for yourself. Yeah, but considering it's a three drop, that doesn't seem like a very good ability. There's probably gonna be some like really stupid combo that makes it really good. Like, I like the, the intro ability, first of all. Yeah. But it's not quick cast. If it was quick cast, it would be nicer. Yeah. Maybe a four, uh, I guess it would be too expensive for four, if it was a four cost. And then we have... Semi's Disciple, which we already know what it does. More. Oh, thanks. Thank you very much. Okay, we kind of need a backstory here. I'm going to take a break, grab a beer, and think 
have something to talk about in the background? Well, if you, like... Chaining um, Hadred. Did you say that we're already coming up to like an hour on this thing? Yeah. Okay, how about we just call this the first video and then we'll, we'll just make a bunch of other ones. Yeah, first video done. Yeah? Yeah. Um, just to challenge you guys, I mean, this is an unboxing video, so there's not much you can comment other than the random stuff we've talked about, but like... Drop us some criticism. Maybe say Nova should learn how to count as a full adult grown male. No, probably Nova should learn how to read as a full grown adult. And if you guys would like some of the promos, like full a play, full playset of this, this card, leave us some comments, and we're gonna be running it possibly as a next uh, as a next giveaway. Yeah, we're getting close. We're getting close to that 700. We're right? getting close to that 700. Like check out the video with the with the uh, gift our first giveaway video as soon as we get 700 we're gonna be giving away a kind of like a force of will deck box along with a play set of the old from the first set the promos from the first set cool and, yeah this is the first unboxing video at this pace we'll probably have about 10 of them I hope you guys are excited grab a grab a beer and some popcorn and we'll see you in the next one <laughs>